Hello, this is Peter with another video. Today I thought I'd do a little tasting of this Maya lemon uh, that I picked the other day. Uh, I'll leave a link to the video uh, I filmed a couple of days ago when I picked this. Um, this is the first Maya lemon uh, that I've picked. Um, it's not very big, as you can see, about the size of a maybe just a little bit smaller than an egg in length and probably about the width of an egg. So yeah, I thought I'd just have a little taste of it. And now this is going to be obviously very sour, um, so it might be quite amusing. That being said, Maya lemons are known to be slightly sweeter than your standard um, lemons that you get from supermarkets, um, like your uh, Eureka's, your Lisbon lemons, etc. Um, so yeah, I'll just um, I'll just try and cut this. I'm holding this camera with my hand, so I'm doing this one-handed. So I'm just going to try and cut this down the middle, roughly. Okay. I don't know how well that shows up on camera, but it is a little bit orange on the inside. Which, yeah, in real life it looks more orange than it does on the camera. Um, although it, I think it is showing up a little bit there. Which is good to see. This um, hopefully won't be too bad. Okay, so I'll just cut a little piece off here. And we'll see what it tastes like. Okay. Definitely not as sour as I was expecting it to be. I'd say that's pretty edible, actually. Probably similar to a grapefruit in terms of um, sourness. So, uh, yeah, that's quite um, very juicy. Hmm. I think if you pick this a little earlier, you'd have a more um, sour or tart uh, lemon flavour. This is a little bit more mandarin-like. I think my lemons are crossed with a type of mandarin, so that definitely um, definitely seems to be coming through here. Hmm. Not bad. Not sweet. I mean, not incredibly sweet. There is some sweetness to it, though. But it's definitely not as sour as I was expecting. And really, really juicy. How well that shows on camera. That is very, very good. Mm. Very enjoyable fruit, actually. Didn't expect I'd like it as much as I did. So yeah, I'm very pleased with the results of this Maya lemon. Um, Definitely a, a good one to try and grow here in the UK. So this obviously came from my plant. Uh, I got the, that particular tree, I think I got it early last year. I do have a couple of other Maya lemon trees. Um, I think they were um, grown from cuttings, um, which were a lot smaller and haven't flowered or fruited yet. I think this one was a grafted one that came from Italy. I'm not sure what the rootstock is, um, but it did flower uh, for me last year and then obviously the fruit developed over winter and it's just ripened up early spring um, I could have picked it earlier probably would have been a little bit more lemony flavoured if I picked it earlier uh, but yeah this is definitely a nice um, refreshing fruit to have and definitely edible like this I'm not particularly a fan of really sour fruits so if I can eat this then I think most people would probably be able to eat it mm. very tasty Des definitely has a mandarin or slightly orange flavour to it um, with a kind of um, grapefruit like tartness just a mild amount not too bad so yeah very uh, very enjoyable fruit um, I'm hoping my tree uh, which is just starting to put out some new growth um, does quite well this year I might leave it in the greenhouse a little bit longer just to let the new uh, new growth establish before I put it outside. 
Um, but yeah, I'll definitely keep you all updated on how my Maya lemon tree does. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I'll be sure to keep you all up to date with my citrus trees and all of my other plants. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.